get ready with me for work while I tell you the story about the time I had to call the police on one of my clients. So I own a hair salon and um, we are a pretty chill and relaxed hair salon. Just going to kind of start with that. And uh, this one story just kind of stays in my mind <laughs> because it was so wild and there's a handful of stories that just stick with you for your entire career. And this one happened probably about a year ago and me and my stylist had to deal with it. And uh, I'm going to be changing the names of everybody in the story, obviously, except for mine, just for everybody's, you know, anonymity or whatever, <laughs> anonymousness. <laughs> my stylist, Amy, she was working on a client of hers who had recently gone through what we think is a divorce or like a, a relationship end of some sort because this client was having a pretty rough day and we obviously felt bad for her and it led to us giving her like a lot more leniency than I guess we should have. We should have uh, probably cut that out sooner but we didn't really know what to do in this situation. So Amy is working on her client. It's a client she's had for a long time and she loves her but this client comes into her appointment with one of those big Starbucks venti cups or like a Stanley cup. Anyways, one of those really, really big cups. And uh, she's wearing her sunglasses and she sits down and she's, she's there for a good five hours. So this client starts acting a little strange during her appointment. Uh, the first like 20 or 30 minutes when Amy was applying her foils, the client's talking really loud and going over the details of her breakup with Amy. Amy's feeling like this is this is kind of normal. This client's a little bit, she's a little bit boisterous, got a big personality. This all seemed normal, but today this client was on another level. After about an hour or so, we are all processing our clients. Amy is still putting in the foils and she decides to pull me aside as I'm the manager and the owner. And she says, Katie, I think my client is pretty wasted right now. And I go, oh, what makes you say that? And she says, well, I can smell the alcohol on her breath. And she's reached behind herself and grabbed my butt and told me that she loves me and all these all these things that are making me just feel a little uncomfortable. And Amy tells me that her client has basically been drinking on the sly out of her Starbucks venti cup or her Stanley, her big giant cup that she's been drinking white wine all day long during her appointment and she has been sipping it back. And uh, just a little note here, I do not mind when my clients drink at their appointments. Um, I've actually had appointments where my clients bring a bottle of wine and we share it together. She tells me that the client has been going uh, in between foil sections. She's been going back to her car and refilling up her bottle, coming back, drinking it. And uh, she's fallen asleep several times by this point. <laughs> she's wearing her sunglasses. It's a... Uh, it's evening time by the time she's done, but she had been telling Amy that she's going to go to the local restaurant nearby and go in for happy hour. So this is about four or five o'clock that we're finally finished her appointment. Amy's taking a little longer on purpose so that the client can sober up a little bit, if possible. But by this point, the client has fallen asleep about five times. She's been yelling a lot. She's been saying a lot of things very loudly, enough so much that even my clients have turned around to me and looked at me and goes, and I go, yeah, she has. And, um, and she spilled one of her bottles of wine all over our ground. So we do know that she was drinking because, uh, yeah, the venti bottle spilled. And uh, as we were cleaning up, she went back to her car to refill it. So our client is what I, what I would consider pretty slaughtered right now <laughs> when she's uh, paying for her service. She's telling Amy, oh my God, I love my hair. It's so amazing. And we're pretty heartbroken about this because we really do like this client. She's a sweet, sweet woman, but she's going through a rough time and we want to be there for her. But there's a certain point where you got to, as a professional, say this can't be acceptable in the salon anymore. You've been grabbing at my employee. You've spilled your wine everywhere. You've disrupted everybody else's services with how loud you're being. You're passing out in the middle of your appointment several times. This is just not OK. Also, I'm trying out a new blush palette. So if this ends up being blush blindness, then, you know, 
just ignore it. I'm not great at makeup. So essentially what ended up happening is the client pays for her service and I decide now is the time for us to address this issue and make sure that she gets home safely. So I said to her, hey, we've noticed you've had a couple of drinks, which is totally fine, but we wanna make sure you get home safe. So can we call you a cab and you can wait in our waiting area or we can call you an Uber or something. And uh, that's when the client deadpan looks at me and goes, I've been drinking water all day, just so you know. And I was like, all right. <laughs> She's like, I'm gonna be driving my own car home. And that's, that's that. She was very, very defensive and immediately upset. <laughs> because she is super, super slaughtered, we decide to call the police and let them know her license plate number and where she's headed because we know she's going to the local bar for happy hour. And so we do that and we don't hear anything back from the police afterwards. We don't hear anything from her. We wanted to give her a couple of days after her appointment to see if she would reach out to us to either book a new appointment as she was, you know, a regular client. She'd usually pre-book her future appointments. And the main reason for us to call the police is because we don't want to have her get into a car accident and get hurt or hurt someone else, God forbid, because of what she's chosen to do. We, again, are fine with people having a casual drink or two at their appointment, especially if it's going to be a long one. We know that it's can be a long day getting your full service color done and we want you to have a great time. But there is a difference between having a good time and ruining everyone else's time. So we check up on the client about a week later because we haven't heard from her and we're just not sure what to do. So I write a message to her and let her know that we want the best for her and we hope that whatever she's going through ends up you know, changing out for the better for her. But unfortunately, we can no longer book her future appointments because of her behavior displayed at the most recent appointment. And uh, her response to us was so funny. I'm not even gonna lie, it was so funny. So she messages us back like a day or two later and she essentially cusses me out <laughs> and says that she wasn't drinking and she is super upset with us because she's been a loyal client for a long time and that she's super unhappy with us essentially. She's cussing us out. She's like, F you for calling the police on me. I was home sleeping. Overall, her response to me was extremely angry. She was cussing me out for calling the police on her because I guess they checked up on her. <laughs> and she was so, so upset that we were not gonna be doing her hair in the future. We just felt like it was gonna be a really awkward situation. So what do you guys think? Should we have kept her on as a client? Should I have handled that differently? What would you have done in this scenario? Let me know. These types of things are some of the most uncomfortable and unprecedented things that can happen when you're a salon owner because you just don't expect them to happen ever <laughs> that you're gonna have to call the cops on your client for being super drunk, getting into your car and driving away. Anyways, this is the final look. What do you guys think? It's just like my everyday makeup. <laughs>